Rhino Gradentian is a fictitious order of mammal invented by German zoologist Gerolf Steiner. Members of the order, known as Rhinograids or Snotters, are characterized by a nose like feature called a nasorium, which evolved to fulfill a wide variety of functions in different species. Steiner also created a fictional persona, naturalist Harold Stumpke, who is credited as author of the 1957 book Bodio and Leben der Rhino Gradentia, translated into English in 1967 as the Snotters. Form and life of the rhino grades. According to Steiner, it is the only remaining record of the animals, which were wiped out, along with all the world's rhino gradential researchers, when the small Pacific archipelago they inhabited sank into the ocean due to nearby atomic bomb testing. Successfully mimicking a genuine scientific work, rhino gradential has appeared in several publications without any note of its fictitious nature, sometimes in connection with April Fool's Day. Rhino Gradentia, their island home of HYE. Zoologist Harold Stumpke, and a host of other people, places, and documents are fictional creations of Gerolf Steiner, 1908-2009, a German zoologist. Steiner is best known for his fictional work as Stumpke, but he was an accomplished zoologist in his own right. He held a professorship at the University of Heidelberg and later the Technical University of Karlsruhe, where he occupied the department chair from 1962 to 1973. According to Bud Webster, Steiner's motivation for the work was instructional, to illustrate how animals evolve in isolation. Steiner's fictional author, credited as quantum curator of the Museum of the Darwin Institute of HYE, Merrill Wheely, provides a very detailed account of the order and individual species, written in a dry, scholarly tone. The evidently expert voice of the author, his competent writing, and apparent familiarity with conventions of academic literature set the work apart as a rare example at the intersection of fiction and scholarship. Steiner credits himself by name as illustrator of the book and explains how that role led him to possess the only remaining record of Rhino Gradentia. According to Stumpke, Rhino Gradentia were native to Hyee, a small Pacific archipelago comprising 18 islands Ano Rasababasi, Akoavusa, Hidudafi, Koavusa, Lonoka, Lonanoya, Mara, Mirovili, Metadina, Nadi, Nodasi, Norabasi, Asavitasi, Onabusa, Osadauza, Shanaloka, Totengako, and Vinzi. The islands occupied 1,690 square kilometers 650 square miles in the archipelago's highest peak, 2,230 meters 7,320 feet, was on its main island, Hidunafi, Hyadifi. The first description of Hyde it published in Europe was the divine R. Pedersen Skomtfist, a Swedish explorer who arrived in Hidunafi by chance in 1941, after escaping from a Japanese prisoner of war camp. Each of the islands was home to distinctive fauna dominated by rhino gradentia, the only mammals other than humans. In the time after the war, a number of scientists took interest in the rhino raids and began formal research into their physiology, morphology, behaviors, and evolution. In the late 1950s, nearby nuclear weapons testing by the United States military accidentally caused all of the islands of HYE to sink into the ocean, destroying all traces of the rhino raids and their unique ecosystem. Also killed were all the world's rhino gradentia researchers who were attending a conference on HYE at the time. The book's epilogue, credited to Steiner in his capacity as the book's illustrator, explains that Stumpke had sent the book's materials to Steiner to serve as the basis for illustrations in preparation for publication. Following the disaster, it is the only remaining record of the subjects it describes. Rhino grades are mammals characterized by a nose-like feature called a nasorium, the form and function of which vary significantly between species. According to Stumpke, the order's remarkable variety was the natural outcome of evolution acting over millions of years in the remote HYE islands. All the 14 families and 189 known snouter species descended from a small shrew-like animal, which gradually evolved and diversified to fill most of the ecological niches in the archipelago, from tiny worm-like beings to large herbivores and predators. Many rhino raids used their nose for locomotion. For example, the snout leapers like Hopsorhinosaurus, whose nasorium was used for jumping, or the earworms like Otopteryx which flew backwards by flapping its ears and used its nose as a rudder. Some species used their nasorium for catching food, for example by using it to fish or to attract and trap insects. Other species included the fierce Tyrannonysis imperator and the shaggy mammontops. Pedersen Skomkvist's early descriptions of the animals he encountered on HYE led zoologists to name the Macter the title creature in a short nonsense poem by Christian Morgan Stern, the Nasobame, Das Nasobam. In the poem, which exists outside of this fictional universe and also served as an inspiration for Steiner, 
the nays of a machine striding on its noses, outside a nasen shredded it. Stumkey's book classifies 138 species of rhino grade in the following genera. Steiner's books as Stumkey have been translated into other languages, sometimes crediting other names based on the country of publication. Harold Stumkey, Massimo Pondolfi, Hararendo Shudianpuik, and Carl D. S. G. Star pseudonyms, while translator names are authentic. Stumkey, Harold, 1957. Bauwende Lebender Rhino Gradentia. Stuttgart, Gustav Fischer Verlag. ISBN 3 437 30083 0. OCLC 6561673 734. Stumkey, Harold, 1962. Anatomy et Biology to Rhino Grades, A Nouvelle Ordre de Mamma Figures, Transaction Robert Weil. Paris, Masson. ISBN 978-2-10-005449-7. OCLC 4682968. Stumpke, Harold, 1967. The Snouters, Form and Life of the Rhino Grades, Transaction Lee Chadwick. Garden City, New York, The Natural History Press. OCLC 436148. Dondolfi, Massimo, 1992. Irina Grotti de Harold Stumke e la Zoologia Fantastica, Transaction Akaz von Hardenberg. Padua, Franco Muzio. ISBN 88-7021485-0. OCLC 8757872015. Shudianpuk, Hararudo, 1997. Bikori, Adarashiko Hakansaretta Hanyu Roino Kozo de Saikatsu. Tokyo, Hako Hensha. ISBN 4 938706 19 9. OCLC 76500640. Geest, Carl D.S., 1988. Stumpke's Rhino Gradentia, Versuch Einer Analyse. Stuttgart, Gustav Fischer Verlag. ISBN 3-437-30597-2. OCLC 28345723. Rhino Gradentia is considered one of the best-known biological hoaxes and scientific jokes since Steiner's pseudonymous works on the subject continue to be reprinted and translated. Since the book's original publication several scientists and publishers have written about Rhino Gradentia as though Steiner's account were true, though it is unclear how many of those who continued and popularized the joke did so intentionally. Wolf Ankel wrote that the order is not a poetic invention, but has really lived. Eric Don Holtz celebrated the discovery of a completely new animal world. Timothy E. Lawler's widely read textbook Handbook to the Orders and Families of Living Mammals includes an entry for Rhino Gradentia that does not acknowledge its fictional nature. Prior to the publication of Lee Chadwick's English translation, an abbreviated version ran in the April 1967 edition of Natural History a magazine published by the American Museum of Natural History. It comprised material from the book's introduction, first chapter, selected descriptions of genera, and the epilogue, and was presented as the lead story, without qualification, by the normally serious publication. The following month, the New York Times ran a story about the Snodders on the front page, based on the Natural History article. According to the magazine's editorial director, they had received more than 100 letters and telegraphs about the Snouters, most of them from people who forgot that the article was published on April Fool's Day. Natural History printed several letters to the editor in its June-July issue and conveyed to the Times the content of several more, ranging from skeptical to fascinated in continuations of the joke. One reader, entomologist Alice Gray, expressed thanks for the article, which enabled her family to identify an animal-shaped metal bracelet from the South Pacific as having been modeled after a hoop snouter and included a drawing to preserve the record because, she said, it had been melted down with some toy soldiers and a spoon by a young cousin with a new casting set. Decades later, papers are still published purporting to continue Stumkey's research or otherwise paying homage to Steiner's hoax. In a 2004 paper in the Russian Journal of Marine Biology, authors Koshkina and Bukashkina claimed to have discovered two new marine genera, Dendromesis and an as yet unnamed parasitic taxon. On April Fool's Day in 2012, the National Museum of Natural History in France announced the discovery of a wood-eating termite-like genera, nasal perforator, with a rotating nose resembling a drill. Rhino Great has been included in a number of museum exhibitions and collections.
The National Museum of Natural History's nasal perforator announcement was accompanied by a two-month exhibit honoring the animals, featuring purported stuffed specimens in its gallery of extinct species. Mock taxidermies of rhino grades have also been included in an exhibit at the Musée d'Ethnographie de New Chattel and in the permanent collections of the Musée Zoology de la Ville de Strasbourg and the Salzburg Haus der Natur. Point three real species have been named after Steiner and Stumpke, rhino gray dentia steineri, a snout moth, hyrinomys to empkine, a shrew rat also known as the Sulawesi snouter, and Tatiamis rhinogranoids, the taint shrew rat. In popular culture, Steiner's work influenced or inspired works of art. Japanese noise musician Mersbau, for example, gave the name Rhino Gradentia to both a song and an album in the Mers Box Box set. Caminalcules, another fictional group of animals introduced as a tool for understanding phylogenetics. Codex Seraphinianus. Eornis Teravolox gobiensis, an older biological hoax, a fictional bird. Fictitious entry. Lists of fictional species. Pacific Northwest Triocterpus.